everybody we are out looking at development properties this morning uh, we did the same thing yesterday in South Carolina we looked at uh, two big developments um, and one we actually closed on yesterday so we did look at three of them one um, we uh, finished our uh, offer and they actually accepted it we went to a ratified contract and uh, so we should close on that one in about 60 to 90 days infrastructure was already in place so as soon as we close we're ready to build the other two that we looked at yesterday were larger developments, uh, 83 lots, um, that'll be from the ground up, and the other one was uh, 26 lots um, on the river. Um, today though, we're up here in uh, North Carolina, and we just met with the owner of this development here. Um, there's actually gonna be uh, 14 lots in here. Um, four of them are already sold, two in the middle are open, and this whole side here is all open and available. And these are half acre lots, um, you can see that there's no road in yet, um, so that's something we would have to do. Um, everything is per perked fine, um, but if we put five houses in here, um, the county will bring in the water for us and we can tap into the water. We'd have to pay the tap fee, so um, we would probably go through and do that, that we would get more for the lots that way if we had water hookup. Um, but it's a pretty good deal. Um, we're looking to break into the North Carolina area. But just remember when you're looking at raw land or de land to develop, there's a lot that goes along with it. Um, you have um, possible perk tests. You need to talk to the water uh, company, the electric company, the county. Uh, make sure that your uh, zoning is, is incorrect. Um, and what type of zoning you have, meaning what size lots can you have, you know, SF10, SF20, SF30, SF40, those are all different square footages of your lots. So um, there's a lot going on with that. We can help if anybody's interested in knowing, feel free to get a hold of us. But uh, we, we think this is not a bad deal. We're about 15 minutes away from the college, 15 minutes away from the hospital, um, and about 10 minutes away from downtown. Um, so uh, it's not a bad area. There's not a lot of builders up here, so that's exciting for us. Uh, might be able to get a whole new um, area going for us. Just looked at the uh, development and um, in North Carolina, and so we decided to take a quick spin. It's one of the things you need to make sure you're doing. Um, we took a quick ride around the city and uh, wanted to see what's going on, how busy is it, what kind of businesses are here, um, what kind of schools are here, and um, there's a lot of laundromats, which means there's a lot of rentals, is it a service-oriented oriented town, or is it uh, manufacturing, do they have uh, county jobs, state jobs here, and so we've, we've uh, noticed that they have every fast food um, place under the sun here. There's six different um, banks um, here in town. There is uh, a lot of apartments. There's three different laundromats. Um, not a whole lot for sale in the area. Um, it is a big area, uh, so we're, we're, that's a good sign. And um, the, we haven't gone over to the college yet. We're going to work our way over there and see what's going on with that. Um, CVS is here. Uh, Walgreens is here. Uh, all the major banks, as I said, are here. Um, correctional facility is here. And uh, so we, we, we think we might have something here. We need to do some more due diligence. Um, so we're going to go over and check the college real quick. There's four hotels here. Um, it's also right off from one of the main throughways um, here. So that's, that's a good thing. And um, public, big, good sized public library. That, that's always a good sign. And um, so we're gonna go over and look at the college, and then we're gonna head back to uh, head back to the beach. Um, this afternoon we have uh, Fox Television. Um, I need to be on Fox TV this afternoon, and um, that's it. So we're gonna wrap it up. And uh, appreciate you taking the time. Thanks a lot, everybody.